Hi, Hiram here. My last video was a response to a question that Cats Kill Mountain Girl asked, where she said, Hiram, what would happen if you rolled up a piece of carbon felt and put it in the center of a trangia? I find I run out of fuel when I dry bake, and I wonder if it would make the fuel last longer. Is it hotter or cooler than without? <clears throat> I had said that I thought what she was asking or referring to was an idea that Wall Hiker suggested in a video back in December of 2010 where he put a plug of rolled up carbon felt in the center cavity of a trangia <clears throat> uh, so that it assisted in a more controlled burn for the simmering. Now when I first saw that video I didn't do much about it because I was using kind of expensive carbon felt at that time. In another video by uh, Digitizer 101, he showed us a source of cheaper felt. I'll give a link to that video down below. And I'll also give a, video, a link to the video that Wahiker did. Anyway, what had happened was I put carbon felt in here, added two fluid ounces of methanol, lit it, couldn't get it to bloom. Turns out, thinking back on it, it was probably, well I'm sure it was my fault. What had happened was, I used my second trangia, so it was totally dry. I put the uh, carbon felt rolled up in there, a rectangular sheet. I stuck this funnel in it to get the, so that when I poured in the methanol it would go to the bottom. But the thing that I forgot to do was consider how absorbent carbon felt is. <clears throat> so probably what happened was all of the methanol just stayed right in the carbon felt and didn't actually go into the jet area, whatever you want to call it, this area in here where the vapors would form. So basically I was probably trying to light a dry transia so only the carbon felt lit. <clears throat> uh, I did get a couple of comments Rick to Max made a comment where he said it appears that the carbon felt sucked up all the alcohol and is also insulating the stove and preventing the alcohol from boiling and pressurizing uh, Catskill Mountain Girl also said now I'm wondering if you needed to add more than two ounces of fuel to get to a bloom since most of it was probably absorbed by the carbon felt. So that was pretty much the same. That's what I think is was the problem with that. Not a problem with Wall Hiker's idea. I didn't want to give that idea. Uh, this was totally me. So what I did last night was I played with this where I filled it up right to the edge. Looks like it could use a little more in there now. I filled it up right to the top, weighed it, and that's about, there we go, that's as full as you can get it, it's overflowing. That's about five fluid ounces of methanol in there. I think it was 4.95, three, I'm sorry, three, flu, four, oh boy, four fluid ounces, 3.97. So I filled it up like that, <clears throat> lit it. And I wish I had had the camera going, because it got a little hectic. Um, as it pressurized, methanol was squirting out of the jet holes and going all over the tabletop. I was able to control it, but I thought I'd redo it to, again today and show you so that you don't have to duplicate it and possibly burn your fingers or burn down your house. Again, this is a warning. Don't try this don't fill it up to the max but it does have to be filled up higher than normal maybe one easy way to do it would be to uh, fill up the trangia without the carbon felt in it make sure that it all soaks in and then put the carbon felt down in gently so let me start camera two here turn out the light and let's light this and see what will happen. Now this time I put a plate underneath the trangia 
that forms like a, a barrier so that the alcohol doesn't come flowing across everything if it happens again. Now last night the jets did indeed light. <clears throat> Hopefully you can see that on camera too. As it warmed up the uh, burner the methanol came squirting out of the jet holes. Watch, it won't do it today. Not that I'm prepared. Uh, the carbon felt did light on last night, warmed it up, squirted it out, and then the jets did light, in which case then the carbon felt stopped burning. It seems like the flame is always on whatever's the outer, outermost part of the, uh, the burner. Okay, now some of that extra alcohol, methanol, is burning off. So now I can see the carbon felt. Hmm. Maybe because it's warmer. I don't know. It's not doing exactly like it did last night, but uh, now the carbon felt is burning because all of the extra stuff that dribbled on the sides has been burned off. Nothing more exciting is watching alcohol burn, like watching paint dry. Hmm, something's different here. By now it was squirting all over the place. Room temperature is 76 degrees, 63 percent humidity. It was raining last night very humid when I did that. Isn't that just the way it always works? Don't have a camera running and it gets exciting. I did see where Wall Hiker has, I'm hoping I'm saying the name right, Wall Hiker. It's Wild About Washington Hiker. There we go. Now the jets are starting to bloom. Anyway, um, I see there are more videos that Wall Hiker did where he does use this to boil and cook things. So I'm hoping you can see that on camera too, that now the jets are going, but it's not squirting this time. Hmm. Okay, so let's see what happens. can put that on, control the flame somewhat. The jets start up again. So I guess what I'll have to do, I don't know if I can get to it today. I got something to go to, but uh, I've had several requests to do a boil test on this. So I'll give that a try. <clears throat> My voice sounds like it's in the basement this morning. Okay, so there's Wall Hiker's idea. It does indeed come to a bloom. You just have to fill it up more. But take my word for it, don't fill it up to the very top. You can burn your fingers doing that. Okay, so I thank Rick to Max for his comment, Catskill Mountain Girl for hers, Wall Hiker for the original idea. At least wait, I think it's his original idea. Don't know anymore today. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Wall Hiker. Thank you, Digitizer 101, for the source of cheaper carbon felt. 
Like I said, I'll give a link to those videos down below. I thank you for watching my videos, as boring as they are. Sorry this wasn't as exciting as last night, but what can I do? Uh, upcoming will be a test, a boil test on this, and whatever other requests I get. So, thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.